Well, I'm sitting here pondering what to do on this pier. I built this thing in 2008, and uh, when I had to sell off all my stuff, we we just uh, we tore the pier out. And now I'm having some issues trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So uh, I'll show you what I got here. Let me turn this camera around for you. So that's like a 14 inch piece of pipe or duct, whatever you want to call it, that um, I think I got it 36 inches in the ground. And I'm not sure, you can see, I don't know if you can see back here in that corner, that's where the cross member for the, uh, for the building is. There's one there and there should be one right around in here somewhere. And then that one in there is just a brace. <clears throat> So I don't know if I want to cut it out square and pour around it and then build the new pier up or if I want to take a bigger piece of duct sit over top of it and tie it into that. So I'm sitting here pondering figuring out what I'm going to do with it. I guess y'all can tune in later to see what really happened. Okay so we talked about the other day what I was going to do and I tried to find a piece, that's a piece of 14 inch duct drove about 36 inches in the ground filled with concrete from my old pier from 2008 and um, so we talked about what we was going to do to try to fix that or try to mount to that <clears throat> and I was trying to find a piece of 18 inch duct to go around it and sit down on it or around it and then fill in but I couldn't find a piece of 18 inch duct so I built this it's made out of uh osb board i just got some tape around it a little extra strength i don't know kind of redneck but uh what i'm going to do and i went ahead and i drove in some half inch rebar and you can see this one on the back uh right there that's been in did that because i made this which is going to hold my all thread and then got that um some rebar welded to it to keep it from spinning and uh, to hold it square while everything sets so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that on top of that So that sits on there like that, and it's gonna give me a nice little tapered look, what have you. And then we're gonna fill it with concrete, and then we're gonna set this on here like so. And you can see why I had to bend the rebar now. And once I got everything poured, I'm gonna screw it down in the four corners. And uh, yeah, my bolts are turned, but I built the building with the property line. And north is Caddy Wampus, about 66 degrees. Well, it'd be, I don't know, uh, 24 degrees or something like that, <clears throat> off of 90. So I'm going to start mixing some concrete and get it all ready to set. Oh, yeah. And then here's my base plate. And I need to enlarge these holes just a little bit because that does not give enough play for it to just slide down on there. So let's start pouring some concrete. I got my pier built and um, mounted. Got like something happened there. I got my pier built mounted to the uh, concrete pier foundation here in just a minute I'm gonna get down there and show you what that looks like but uh, the finished product but uh, the the pier is made out of six inch aluminum tubing using the ioptron pier adapter for the CEM 70 and then I've got a half inch aluminum plate down there on the bottom uh, that you saw in the previous video but everything's finished now everything's mounted I've been using it for about three weeks now maybe a little bit longer but everything's rock solid 
no resonance in the tube. And uh, so been real pleased with it. The iOptron Sim 70 has been working really well. Uh, took some time, took about an hour with the uh, PhD2 with the uh, polar drift alignment. She's within a half and, or let's see. She's within 0.1 arc seconds of being aligned in both azimuth and altitude. So uh, she tracks really, really well for a, for a mount that doesn't have the encoder in it. But uh, been really pleased with it. So let's, uh, let's go look at the concrete foundation. So here's the finished product of the uh, pier foundation in the previous segment you saw where I had tied it into the original pier foundation. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice. I painted it with some matte black um, latex paint. It's, you know, it's not sticking to the concrete too great, but uh, I'll probably end up putting another coat on it. But the pier, I was really kind of pleased with it. It's made out of aluminum. The These uh, extrusions here, those are 2020 extruded aluminum, which you know what 3D printers and stuff are made out of. And it's gonna allow me, if I need to mount any accessories, that I can mount them using the, uh, the T-nuts that, that you buy for these. Uh, honestly, I thought this was a really good idea. I, one of the other, what I think added benefits to using the 2020 extruded aluminum for the gussets, as you can see that everything ties into the, to the mount and they actually run down that extrusion and they're tucked in that extrusion so nothing's really hanging out. And you can see maybe a little bit of profile there. My, my USB cable runs right through here and uh, you know, comes out down at the bottom. They tie in and then run across the floor, up the desk leg, and then over there to the uh, to the mini computer, the mini PC mounted on the wall. One thing I forgot to mention was that the, and I know that I would be asked about it if I didn't come back and address this before release the video. So um, this right here is what we call Armaflex. It's a foam rubber. It's a very low density foam rubber, but it's basically just a weather seal, if you will, that runs around the, um, it takes up the space that the, the form did originally. And that's how the building is isolated or the building floor is isolated from the uh, pier so that there's no, uh, it's not actually touching the pier anywhere, but it is sealed up. So before I wrap the video up, I wanted to come back out here and show you guys that I did isolate the pier from the building. All right, guys, that's how I did it. And that's how I took and tied my old observatory pier into my new observatory pier. It's been rock solid. I've been real pleased with it. Been a real great performer for me. And uh, hopefully you'll stick around because I'm wanting to do some more videos such as how the observatory was built originally. I have pictures from 2008 uh, when it was originally built. And I have a backstory on how the, the roof rail system come about, uh, original versus new. Uh, I've got some reviews that I'm wanting to do on the CEM70. I've got reviews I'm wanting to do on the FRA500. Roof rails, roof motors, all that's coming in the future, but, and hopefully some picks and site tutorials. I'm not the greatest, but I'm not, I'm not a slouch either. So hopefully you guys will stick around and tune in for that. Hopefully you found this somewhat entertaining or entertaining. It's a peer, uh, informative. Let's say that hopefully you found something informative. Uh, and, uh, as we move on with this, with this new revamp of the channel that, uh, you guys will stick around and see what's next. But for now, clear skies and good night, everybody.